All right. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Um, so I want to touch on the start of me taking this more seriously, starting with a playlist of all the jobs I've ever worked, the pros and cons of both um, of the positions that I worked, and if I would recommend them or not. So let's start with a and the most recent one. a and is Eric Carver and Fitch Warehouse, and I'm just going to share my experience, starting with the pros. So no, starting with the cons, let's start with the cons and end on the good one. So starting with one, management. There is a lack of diversity with management. I just feel like I should be able to see representation wherever I look, whether it's on the same level that I am working at as an employee or in management positions or higher up positions, whatever. I should see diversity. I should see me represented. It's, and not just me. Like if there's um, an Asian coworker, if there's a native coworker, I just, I need to see like diversity. Like we should be able to see ourselves, not just one type of person because there's already gonna be that disconnect and there's already gonna be just this off energy because there's, I, I've worked too many jobs and seen it. If there's not true diversity, there's gonna be hostility, there's gonna be issues, a lot of microaggression, a lot of comments and tones, not of, lack of understanding, like a lot of lacking in every department that you could think of. So it was that, that was a red flag for me personally. Two, again, with management, it's the fact that they didn't check in. There, I remember distinctly, there was one day I just, I was falling asleep. I'm over here. Like, I kid you not, falling asleep, standing up. And several of my managers passed by me. Clear as day can see me. There's nothing blocking me. I'm standing. I could stand in a freeway. That's how clear I was that you could see. I was obviously exhausted. There was no check-ins from my managers, my supervisors. But weekday, because this is during peak, she came. She knew my name, remembered my name with quickness. She said, hey, did you? Are you doing okay? Did you, I saw you and you, you look tired. Like, you sure you're good to like make it through the shift? You need some water, you need an energy drink, you need some, some caffeine or something? Not even my supervisor, manager, nothing. She's a completely different shift, but we were working together. And she's the one who checked on me, saw me once, saw me once and checked in on me. What did my management do? walked past me, still didn't acknowledge me at any point during the shift except to tell me when there was like more work that I could do. Problem number two. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I cannot deal with this place anymore, but I need to keep working. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Con number three. Again, with management. We are already walking a lot as it is as the employees the least they could do is meet us halfway if not go around and do what they're supposed to do which is supervise the floor supervise the area but instead oh if when you're done let me know come to my desk and let me know why do i need to come to your desk you sit there for i want to say 10 to 12 hours the whole shift and you can't take what two hours out of that two to three hours out of your shift to walk around and do what you're actually supposed to be doing which is walking around checking in on your employees making sure not only is the work you know being done but making sure we're doing okay we got none of that none of that and the only time they wanted to come around again is if they there was more work or if they saw us on our phones or you know, just sitting down, they pinpoint every single little bad thing there was, quote unquote bad. My feeder time, you would understand if you actually got up and walked for 10 plus hours a day. You would understand why I'm sitting down, but I'm sitting down and I'm working. And even if I wasn't working, I'm not sitting down this entire shift, not doing anything, and you know that. But they don't want to congratulate you. They don't want to say, oh, you're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. They don't give you that. They just pick the bad things to focus on. And that's another 
red flags with the management that I just cannot stand. So, if you don't see a trend here, I'm just saying. And also, I'm just speaking specifically for my department, which is hospital, which is um, basically the second to last department where we check customer orders, make sure all the items are accounted for, label it, pack it, and then put it on the conveyor belt for it to get sent out. So, y'all. But moving on to the pro oh, another con. I guess it's a slight con, but to me, it was a major. The fact that we had to go up two flights of stairs, there's no elevator, yet you have accessible parking or handicap parking, and pretty much nothing in that warehouse was accessible for a handicap. Handicap people, like, it made no sense whatsoever. Then I digress. I'm just saying that that's a lot. No break areas, no bathrooms on our level, and again, no elevator for people if they did end up wanting to work in that department or most of the departments is just it wasn't capable you know so anywho moving to the the pros so the pros so we have the pay i was getting 21 an hour prior to peak with peak i was getting 23 an hour there was paid VTO. So VTO is volunteer time off. They would ask, hey, you trying to VTO? And I'm like, yeah, it's guaranteed hours. So they would pay you for up to, I think, like 95% of the hours that you would have worked anyway, just automatically. But then I stopped after or right before peak. No, right before peak. So it was nice while it lasted. And I don't know if that's a every peak season type of thing or if that's a just for this year type of thing. But it was nice while it lasted. You can come in. Start time is at 630. You get there after the little check-in morning meeting. If they're like, hey, want a VTO? Get paid for that whole day and you get to leave. It could be right after check-in. I'm just like, wow, this is nice. Oh, I got comfortable on that. It was so nice. I miss it. And then VTO became regular where you just voluntarily um, just left and there was no guaranteed hours. So whatever you worked, you worked and that's what you got paid for. The other pro, besides the pay, but again, I'm also through a temp agency. So I think the pay was a little higher. So you got time and a half for Thanksgiving and you'll get time and a half for Christmas. I unfortunately don't get that because again, I'm through a temp agency and they have certain requirements of hours I have to work before I'm even eligible for that, which I think is bogus, but it is what it is. So 21, then 23, weekly pay. Again, through the temp agency, it is a bi-weekly, like most places, uh, position. Um, easy work when there is work. Um, the parking lot isn't crazy far away from the actual building itself. I know if you go to places like Amazon warehouses, that parking lot is ridiculous and it's packed. And trying to get a pro spot, you might as well just park far, grab a seat, <laughs> a spot, and just get to walk in because you're going to be waiting for a while if anything opens up closer to the doors. But with ANF, the parking lot isn't like super big, so your walk isn't going to be outrageously long or crazy so there was that and I think that's the only other pro that I can think of as a temp agent or as a temp employee working for ANF so those were the cons and the pros the pros and the cons I would recommend this job specifically weekend shift the 312s for anyone who would like to keep their weeks like their weekdays to themselves, allow them time to travel, allow them time to, if you have a family, you know, uh, what's it called? Spend time with them, get them ready for school, take them to work, whatever the case may be. But I would not recommend this position if you cannot stand for a long time, if you, oh, another pro, sorry, just one more. Um, you could um, listen to music, which is great, but, um, Another, like for who I would recommend this for, if you are going to school during the week, this would be a great way to have income 
and I would recommend going through a TIF agency just so you could have weekly income instead of waiting bi-weekly. It just makes the warehouse feel a little better like working it to tough it out because it's every week versus every two weeks, which feels like forever. Um, but yeah, it's not the worst job, but it could be better. And they could have a very higher, you know, like heat rate instead of a higher turnover rate if management, one was diverse, actually followed through with what they said they were going to do, um, didn't have favoritism, and didn't show biased energy towards certain employees, regardless of if they work or not, or if they look like each other, etc. So yeah, that's been my experience with AMF. I'm glad I am no longer there for my sanity. <laughs> but yeah, if you're looking to apply for it, like I said, not terrible, but if you need money and you need to quit, tip agency, get to the warehouses, and yeah, that's it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm definitely going to do more. Probably going to do, going to write down my all the jobs I've worked and keep doing this. So hopefully you like it. Let me know what you want to see on my channel. I hope you guys have a great December. <laughs> see you in the next video. Boop.